All right, Gavin. Since we have you up here, how's it feel to uh, be here 40 plus years later with your old roommate from the GP, Garrett Wilson? Well, I'm still trying to get the rent off of you. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, uh, this, wasn't, this wasn't actually, I mean, it was almost, uh, when I first started, I had to come to the uh, AMA, explain to them what motocross was, go to the FIM and the whole nine yards. And I can tell you the first time I persuaded ABC World of Sports, a young guy called Bob Iger, who is now president of Disney and uh, whatever, and Hang Ten, which is the first sponsor of him. And I always remember having that clammy feeling the night before. I'm going, shit, a lot of nobody turns up. <laughs> and as you know, I mean, if you look at the pictures, it's just amazing. But uh, we had so much fun doing it. It wasn't. It wasn't. The work and the other thing I have to mention that Carlsbad you probably don't know is the only racetrack in the world that has hosted racing from speedway, road racing, motocross. When I when I created Supermoto, that's the first time we had everybody from uh, Kenny Roberts to Jay Springsteen to Barry Briggs all in one place and that was another one where we laid out a track and Eddie Lawson came out one morning and we laid out the track and uh, I had no idea what was going to happen. ABC paid me a shitload of money to do it and I said no problem we'll figure it out. But the interesting thing was that all of these guys are mortal enemies in their own divisions motocross and road racing, when they got out there, it was a whole different thing, you know. I want to see how Roberts is just getting all ticked off about some young motocross called Magoo, you know. Anyway, thanks for turning up, and I had a whole lot of fun, and I'm glad it's so. And the only thing, the last thing I will say, the proudest thing was when I drove down the freeway and turned left on Palm Airport Road, there was a green Caltrans sign in 1971, motocross, first left. Awesome, thank you Gavin. And you know, uh, in addition to having Garrett Wilson here, which is a rarity, Garrett, we haven't seen you in many, many years, maybe almost 10 years, I think, here, we are honored that Mr. Motocross himself, Thorsten Hallman, has joined us here today. Thorsten, great to see you. We love you. And uh, Thorsten, you, you only raced Carlsbad a couple times, right? In fact, I don't really exactly remember if I raced here. I'm close to, to 18 hours that you don't remember. But uh, I was an alpha several times, yes. And, you know, I just want to continue with what Gavin said, you know, to put on a sign on the freeway where it says that all the cross. When I came to the, to the passport control, first time in the United States, I said, what, what are you going to do here? In the United States. And, and I said, I'm going to race motocross. Motocross, is said, what is that? Yes, you can can you spell it? Yes, I spelled motocross. And they they put the word motocross into the computer. No, no motocross. The word was not in the computer in the United States at that time. So this means it came a long way until they put up a sign with motocross on the freeway, right? So they, they have no idea what motocross was the first time I came in 1966. So. So the, the, the biggest thing that I that the story when I came 30 years later and I came to the passport control and I said, what are you going to do? I'm going to do motocross in Las Vegas. Oh Jesus Christ, yeah. look at this guy. He's going to the motocross in Las Vegas. The, 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 the guy in the passport control told me. So that was great. Hey, let's hear it for Torsten Holloway and Gavin Swift and Gary Wilson. Joining us here. You know,
know these guys are what? Oh, and, and they say thank me. Okay, thank me. <laughs> you know these guys are symbolic of what uh, is is uh, the whole idea. In addition to the local racers, of course, the race every week in Carlsbad. But you know we're going to be we're, we're raising money to build a monument overlooking the original Carlsbad Raceway site. The city of Carlsbad has given us a, a, a chunk of dirt to put this monument. We are raising money to do the first design and architectural work so we can really go out and raise the big money for the motorcycle industry to finish this thing. We thought it'd be done this year. Well, it might be another year, but we're all here because we want to see the thing get finished. Everything, these guys from all over the world come to race means other people from all over the world will come to enjoy this monument when it's finished uh, someday. And, you know, the project got started last year and we had a couple of key people, one key person who I know is here right now, who kickstarted it with a donation of almost $3,000, which we're almost at $7,000 now, which is Kevin Hill from HG Fenton Company. Kevin, are you here? Kevin, come up here. Come on. I met this guy at the premiere of the Marty Moe's movie in, uh, five years ago, and he was the first guy to step up and uh, say, hey, I wanted, uh, our company wants to be part of that. So, uh, Kevin, thank you so much for helping out and uh, getting this thing started for us. As Todd said, it's kind of funny, um, I went to his movie a couple of years ago and um, watched the movie that, about Marty Monks and I went up after him kind of sheepish, sheepishly and I said, I worked for the company that actually mowed over the raceway. Oh. I myself love motocross, I ride motocross, uh, motocross. So I said to Todd, we would like to help fund that operation. So we donated uh, almost about three thousand dollars and encourage everybody else to help as well because uh, it, for me it's really great to go back and see the history of this. As a kid, I grew up in Utah and I used to watch Rock Lover and, and Brad Black on ABC Wide World of Sports and I would think Carl's Bill California. And then I moved there. I live there now. So it was really quite an honor to be associated. I appreciate the recognition. Thank you, Kevin. And obviously, uh, guys like Torsten and Garrett would not have a place to race. And Brock and Ricky and David and Billy and everybody who's here. And Gavin wouldn't have had a place to make money off the 50,000 plus people every year if there was not a racetrack to race at. Now I think the Grismers are here. The Grismers, where are the Grismers? I, Jeff and Larry, come up here. These guys. The Gavin just informed me that Gavin Tripp and Larry Grismer never had a contract. Not a piece of paper but between them. Uh-oh. Oh, Larry's got his dog behind the bar. Are we going to get in trouble with the health department? Okay. He's got it up. <laughs> yeah, Larry says the dog is his attorney. Larry and Jeff, uh, you know, this party wouldn't be possible if there was no racetrack 40 years later to have a memorial about, uh, a party about. And uh, you guys are here supporting all these fun people that had a... Uh, really memorable time there and uh, obviously we're trying to uh, make this monument happy. Larry, what do you want to say to all these fine folks here at, at Carlsbad? With all due respect to the dignitaries we have from Motocross, we love you guys and respect what you've done for the racetrack. You brought ABC in, but without you guys out here, the guys who came in every week and paid their two dollars a week. Without you guys the rest of the year, for the rest of the year, every week, week in and week out, you guys kept it alive. And you are the ones I appreciate as much as the weeds. And uh, if I had a couple more beers, I'm sorry.
anymore. But what I'd like to do, I would like to, at this point, I'd like to match Gannon's the first half of the other man's contribution, which is $1,500. $1,500. Congratulations. Okay. So you put your money where your mouth is. And you guys have done that, and I appreciate you. The last thing is, I get a lot of credit from 40 years out there. The last 15 years, I sped up with you guys. I mean, 500 assholes every weekend is right here. So if you want to thank somebody for the last 15 years, it's my son, as far as I know. It's my son. Yeah. We always debated whether it was the last 20 or the last 15, but it doesn't really matter because one of the best compliments I ever got as a son taking over a family business was one day Frank Thomason, uh, Racing Enterprises Motocross, Frank Thomason came to me very frustrated one day because he wanted to make a change to the motocross track and he knew I wouldn't let him do it. And he stamped his feet and said, well, who's in charge, you or your dad? Because you won't let me do it. And I said, well, my dad's not here, so I guess I'm in charge. And he said, but your dad told me I could do it. I said, well, no. So we did it. So, growing up at the raceway, moving into promoting the raceway, everything was a, a privilege and an honor. And as my dad said, without you guys, it wouldn't have kept going. This was the cream of the crop. This is what made it made famous and got pneumonia for ABC and, and was really cool. And you guys were out there every week, and that's we really appreciate it. And along with that, there's two people here that should be recognized, and that's a Bob Morales and John Taylor. John, I see John Taylor right here. He got When things became adversarial to the state and I couldn't keep everything going at the raceway, the drag racing, the motocrosses, John Taylor brought me Bob Morales, and Bob took over promoting the motocrosses until John took it over. And without those guys, we would have had to quit motocross about eight years sooner. So shake their hands and thank them too. Who came to me one day after he'd gone down to the drag race and said, Do you have any property up on the drag strip? And I said, Yeah, there's about 50 acres up there. He said, Could we come down and see about leaving out a motocross track? And I said, What the hell is motocross? Okay. And he said, Well, I've been riding in Europe and it's like a European scramble. So that's really the first track that was laid out there. And I think Torsten came to the first event with Stu Peters at CMC Motocross. And I like to get a lot of credit for Stu. Okay, well, you guys, thanks. We're going we're gonna to pull some uh, raffle tickets here. Here, can you stay for a couple minutes and pull a, pull a number, that number for us? Okay, we're going to give away a few things with your raffle tickets. Get them out. Yeah, we can, but we might as well take them later, so... What? 